This is the future. This is the future. Hi guys, feel free to subscribe to my channel and also remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my future uploads. Also, give me a thumbs up for this video, it will really help the channel out. Good morning guys, so uh, update on today's project. Um, I'm going to be painting these uh, palisades and the gate today, or oh, see how far I get. So as you guys can see it's really nicely rusted and in some spots. So I first have to get the rust a bit smoothed out before I put some primer or rust inhibitor on. So what I'm going to do while we are waiting for Andres to finish the paving is we are going to use my drill and this lovely steel brush tip that I've put on here and we are going to do basically what I did up here. I was just uh, focus, I was just grinding all this rust smoothly this whole surface. So we're going to touch up all the places where there's rust like in here and on top uh, on top there and we're going to quickly first take off all the rust. Let's do that first. Okay guys, um, it's already 12 o'clock in the afternoon so coming back to the palisades. This panel is now completely done inside, outside, top, bottom everywhere. I grinded all the extra loose paint off some of the um, rust. So what I'm going to do now is complete the rest of this piece of fence and then I'm going to take some sandpaper and just quickly go over them just one more time on the rust spots itself and then I'm going to add the red peroxide or oh, well the red paint inhibitor whatever you want to call it and uh, that will be our task for today. Okay just an update I've done the entire gate now. The whole gate has been sanded down, oh well, grinded down. And I'm going to start with the tips. That tip there, that one there, and that one there. So I'm going to uh, take some sandpaper, uh, this one here, and I'm going to just slightly go over them, just make sure they are nice and smooth, and then paint them this uh, primer, red oxide. That's next. Here we go. Nice and red. So now I'm going to do the rest of the gate on the one side. Um, and uh, I'll show you when I'm done. Hi guys. Um, so today is day three. And I see that Andres is busy putting the plastic down. And uh, before he can pack the bricks. And I am continuing touching up uh, all the rust spots with the red oxide. Okay guys as you can see this palisade needs a lot of um, attention. Um, it's got a lot of rust on it. I've been starting now to grind most of the dust, uh, the rust off. Um, I just started on this one so I still have to do the inside. Then uh, let me go show you what the front one looks like. Don't know if you guys can see that, but the rain caught me. There's a nice dark rain cloud. So it started to rain. So I wasn't able to paint the color that I wanted to paint it. But I did finish uh, putting up peroxide everywhere on this gate. So um, I think I'm just going to finish sanding off that white one. And then see if there's enough time I'm going to put some peroxide on that one as well today. Morning guys, so it's day five. I cannot believe it's taking so many days just to do this few jobs, honestly. As you guys can hear, Andres is busy with a grinder. He's busy cutting the bricks to size to put them in in those spaces where the bricks didn't fit. I finished um, sanding my side, so I'm gonna start painting the peroxide. 
just a quick update for you guys if you wanted to know what I did today I painted this pole the, the new color the brown and this one palisade panel its first coat front and back And I have painted this one front and back, first coat. So, um, unfortunately, it's gloss enamel, so it's still wet. This one's better, but it's still wet. It's going to take the whole day to get dry. So, tomorrow I have to do these two gates and the last panel for the first coat. Ouch. Oh dear. That's it guys. I am finally finished after three days of painting this nonsense. Inside and out, top to bottom, back and front, done. So, this is project two complete. I need to get a second coat, but I'll do that in the following few days. But it already took me three days just to do this so uh, project three coming up next coming up next within the next week or two we'll be um, building the bendy house or tool shed I first need to go look where I can find the wood get the right measurements get them cut to size get them delivered so yeah it's gonna take some time it's not gonna be an immediate thing but yeah if you want to see what that looks like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to keep uh, be kept informed of what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers! If you liked this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cripsonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cripsonian.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. On the Cryptozone live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cryptozone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel, see what videos have already been posted and see what new projects I'm working on. Also, you can go to contact and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support, guys. Until next time, cheers.